Want to test lady luck? Here's what you need to know about Google's I'm feeling lucky feature. We're all familiar with Google search. When you type in something that you're looking for and you hit Google search, you get a bunch of search results that you might want to explore. But if you wanted to try I'm feeling lucky, what you'll get is the number one search result for that search. In this case, we're on the Weather Channel and we're looking at the weather for Chicago. So I'm feeling lucky makes a lot of sense for something where you're pretty confident that that very first result is probably all you need, but not so much for something where you want to explore lots of different search results. So let's try something else. What if we put in puppy and we hit I'm feeling lucky. Takes you to the Wikipedia page with lots of pictures of cute puppies and some great information. So it might make a lot of sense for puppy too. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. Another example is 500 internal server error, which is an error that you don't want showing up on your website. And when you click I'm feeling lucky, you come to a LifeWire page because Google thinks that our page gives you the best search result for that query. What if you're feeling something else? Well, if you hover over I'm feeling lucky, you'll get some other options. I'm feeling puzzled, and you can try again. I'm feeling curious, and you can try again. I'm feeling artistic. Let's see what happens. Oh, neat. We're looking at the collection from the Tokyo National Museum. What Google's doing is trying to deliver something that it thinks you would enjoy. So it can be a fun way to pass the time and explore something new.